Today, we're diving deep into the world of Windows XP optimization. Is your once speedy computer feeling sluggish? Fear not. In this video, we'll explore several methods to boost your system's performance and get it running smoothly again. We'll be focusing on two key areas, optimizing settings and making some safe and effective tweaks to the Windows registry. Let's jump right in. Disable the 8.3 naming convention. Windows XP uses two different names for each and every file on your system. One is the name that you see in Windows Explorer and in Command Prompt, and the other is an MS-DOS compatible 8.3 name. If you are intending to run DOS-only software or connect to a pre-Windows 95 computer, you will need this second set of names. If not, it's simply wasting resources. To disable the 8.3 naming convention, open RegEdit, navigate to HKey Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, File System. Change the value of the NTFS Disable 8.3 Name Creation key to 1. Note that some popular programs, including Norton Antivirus, use the 8.3 naming convention. Speed up folder access by disabling last access update. Every time a directory on an NTFS drive is accessed by Windows XP, it updates that directory and every subdirectory with a timestamp to indicate the date of access. In folders with a lot of subdirectories, this can add considerable overhead to whatever your PC happens to be doing. This process can be disabled through the registry. The key we are looking for is each key local machine, system, current control set, control, file system. Create a new D word value called NTFS disable last access update and set the value to 1. Windows XP contains several tweakable memory settings in the registry, one of which is the disable paging executive registry key. This controls whether the operating system will transfer its essential driver and kernel files to virtual memory. Turning portions of the system to the hard drive can considerably slow things down, and it appears that Windows XP does this periodically, whether or not the system is actually low on physical memory. If you have 256 megabytes of system memory or more, try this registry tweak to force Windows to keep its operating system data in main memory. In RegEdit, navigate to HKey Local Machine, System, Control Set 001, Control, Session Manager, Memory Management. Select Disable Paging Executive and change the value to 1. Force Windows XP to unload DLL files after closing a program. Dynamic Link Libraries, or DLLs, are files containing data or functions that Windows programs can call when needed by linking to them. Every piece of Windows software will include instructions to the operating system as to which DLLs will need to be accessed and XP will cache those particular files in memory for faster access. The trouble is, Windows XP keeps these DLLs cached after the relevant programs have closed, wasting memory space. While DLLs are generally tiny, enough of them can make a dent, so it's worthwhile to implement this registry tweak, which will force Windows XP to unload DLLs used by a specific program when that program closes. From RegEdit, navigate to HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Explorer. Create a new key named Always Unload DLL and set the value to 1. Reduce Menu Delays. The Windows XP Start menu incorporates a built in delay between the time your mouse pointer lands on a menu item and the time that menu unfolds. This can get annoying after a while. Using the registry, you can speed up the menu response, which will speed up your computing experience. From RegEdit, navigate to HKey Current User, Control Panel, Desktop. Edit the Menu Show Delay value. The default is 400. Lower values will speed up the Start menu. Setting it to zero is not a good idea unless you like menus popping out at you every time your mouse pointer strays. But experiment to find your favorite setting. 200 is generally a good place to start. 
Improve shutdown speed. Windows XP stores a couple of values in its registry which are responsible for determining how long to wait before shutting down, ending open applications and services once the shutdown command has been given. By editing three settings and changing them to lower values, you can considerably decrease the amount of time that Windows XP needs to successfully shut itself down. This first part of the tweak deals with setting the amount of time Windows will take to end open applications on shutdown. From RegEdit, navigate to HKey Users, Default, Control Panel, Desktop. Highlight the Wait to Kill App Timeout value and set it to 1000. The default should be 20,000. Now highlight the Hung App Timeout value and set it to 1000 also. The second part of this tip will decrease the amount of time Windows XP will wait before shutting down active services after receiving a shutdown command. The key is located in HKey Local Machine. System, Current Control Set, Control. Highlight the value Wait to Kill Service Timeout and change the value to 1000. This should help to considerably speed up the amount of time Windows XP takes to shut itself down. Convert your hard drive to NTFS. If you're using Windows XP, it's a good idea to convert your system drive to NTFS, if it's not already. In addition to providing numerous security and data recovery improvements over FAT32, it also speeds up your system slightly. In fact, the only reasons for sticking with a FAT32 file system are if you have more than one operating system on your PC and the other OSs can only see FAT32 partitions, or you are using a solid state drive because NTFS uses more write operations. To convert your drive to NTFS, from the Computer Management window, expand Storage and select Disk Management. Using the File System column on the upper pane of the window, you can easily check what file system each of your logical drives is using. Make note of this information. Now open a Command Prompt window and type Convert Drive Letter forward slash FS colon NTFS. So for example, if we're going to convert your C drive, you would type convert C colon forward slash FS colon NTFS at the prompt. Enable direct memory access. When Windows XP is installed, hard disks and CD drives may occasionally be set to the PIO mode for transferring data, which is slower than the default direct memory access mode used by modern drives. A quick check of this drive setting can find and correct this error, allowing your drives to perform at their maximum. To check and correct your hard drive and CD drive transfer settings, from Device Manager, expand IDE ATA slash ATAPI controllers, right click on Primary IDE channel, and select Properties. Go to the Advanced Settings tab and ensure that the transfer mode is set to DMA if available. Repeat the above steps for the secondary IDE channel. Removing unnecessary network protocols. This actually helps a lot and can have a significant impact on your computer speed, much more so than any impact on networking speed. These protocols require all sorts of resources and are kept loaded. They also represent a security risk and it provides another way to be attacked. To remove unneeded network protocols, open Network Connections, Right-click on the adapter and select Properties. Under This Connection Uses the Following Items is a list of the installed network protocols. In this example, IPX SPX is no longer being used, so it can be removed. Highlight the item you want to remove, then click the Uninstall button. At the prompt, click Yes. Disable Automatic Sensing on Network Cards. This tweak may help your performance by reducing occasional slowdown periods of heavy CPU access for no apparent reason. By default, Windows XP automatically assesses the speed of your network card and sets them accordingly. 
Apparently, this process occurs at regular intervals, which can cause your system to slow down occasionally. To remedy this, you can manually set the media type of your network card to the correct value. From Device Manager, find and highlight your network card. Right-click on it and select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab and highlight Media Type. In the Value drop-down box, select the correct speed for your network card, then press OK. Prioritize physical memory over virtual memory. In Windows XP, an additional performance improvement can be had by making sure that all of your RAM is used before the swap file is used, especially if you have more than 256 megs of memory installed on your system. To do this, open msconfig. Click the plus sign next to the 386 enhanced item to expand that listing. Click New. In the resulting box, enter conservative swap file usage equals one, then click OK. You must reboot your PC for the change to take effect. Disable unnecessary services. Windows XP has many services, and there are a lot of them that you may never use. If you are going for an offline experience with Windows XP, here are 22 services that can safely be disabled. Alerter. The Alerter service notifies users and computers of administrative alerts. Clipbook. The Clipbook service enables Clipbook Viewer to create and share pages of data to be viewed by remote computers. Computer Browser. The Computer Browser service maintains an up-to-date list of computers on your network and supplies that list to programs that request it. The Computer Browser service is used by Windows-based computers that need to view network domains and resources. The Distributed Link Tracking Client service maintains links between the NTFS file system and files within your computer or across computers on your network domain. Indexing service. Indexing service indexes contents and properties of files on local and remote computers to provide rapid access to files through a flexible querying language. IPsec services. IPsec services provides end-to-end -end security between clients and servers on TCP IP networks. It manages IP security policy, starts the internet key exchange, and coordinates IPsec policy settings with the IP security driver. Messenger. The Messenger service transmits the NetSend command and alerter service messages between clients and servers. NetMeeting Remote Desktop Sharing. The NetMeeting Remote Desktop Sharing service allows authorized users to remotely access your Windows desktop from another computer over a corporate intranet by using Microsoft NetMeeting conferencing software. Portable Media Serial Number. The Portable Media Serial Number service retrieves the serial number of any portable music player connected to your computer. Without the serial number, you cannot associate the content with the specific device. Remote Desktop Help Session Manager. The Remote Desktop Help Session Manager service manages and controls the remote assistance feature within the Help and Support Center application. Remote Procedure Call Locator. The Remote Procedure Call Locator service enables RPC clients using the RPCNS family of APIs to locate RPC servers and manage the RPC name service database. Remote Registry. The Remote Registry service enables remote users to modify registry settings on the local computer, provided the remote users have the required administrative credentials. Secondary Logon. The Secondary Logon service enables the starting of processes that run under alternate administrative credentials so that the user can create processes in the context of different security principles. Routing and remote access. 
the routing and remote access service provides multi-protocol LAN-to-LAN, LAN-to-WAN, VPN, and network address translation routing services. In addition, routing and remote access also provides dial-up and VPN remote access services. Server. The server service provides RPC support, file printing, and named pipe sharing over the network. It allows the sharing of local resources, such as disks and printers, so that other users on the network can access them. Do not disable if you share folders with other Windows systems in your household. SSDP Discovery Services The Simple Service Discovery Protocol is a network protocol based on the Internet Protocol Suite for advertisement and discovery of network services and presence information. Telnet The Telnet service supports connections from various TCP IP Telnet clients, including Unix-based and Windows-based computers. TCP IP NetBIOS Helper The TCP IP NetBIOS Helper service provides support for the NetBIOS over TCP IP service and NetBIOS name resolutions for clients on your network enabling users to share files, print, and log on to the network. Upload Manager The Upload Manager service manages synchronous and asynchronous file transfers between clients and servers on the network. Driver data is anonymously uploaded from customer computers to Microsoft and then used to help users find the drivers required for their system. Universal Plug and Play Device Host The Universal Plug and Play Device Host service provides support to Universal Plug and Play devices. Used in conjunction with the SSDP Discovery Service, it detects and configures UPnP devices on your home network. Windows Time. The Windows Time service maintains date and time synchronization on all computers running on Windows-based networks. It uses the Network Time protocol to synchronize computer clocks so that an accurate clock value or timestamp can be assigned to a network validation and resource access request. Wireless Zero Configuration. The Wireless Zero Configuration service enables automatic configuration of IEEE 802.11 wireless adapters for wireless communication. Do not disable if you use a wireless network. 